There are seven main causes of organic brain disorders. They are aging, infection, intoxication, malnutrition, injury, tumor, and epilepsy. Number 1. Aging. Aging involves many physical, psychological, and social stress. Physical changes are the most obvious. Wrinkles and sagging of the skin result from the loss of skin elasticity. The digestive system do not function as before. The heart's capacity decreases, muscle power wanes, and freedom of movements gradually fade away. The senses of sight, taste, sound, touch, and scent, all become ineffective with aging. Such changes are however normal, as we grow old. Changes in status that accompany aging can result in serious psychological problems. The reality of death is very difficult for some elderly persons. There is fear of failing health and decreased financial independence. Also, as the friends and families began to die, many elderly persons are very sad and lonely. The memories are often difficult to bear. Aging oftentimes involves unpleasant social problems for the elderly persons. It is difficult for many to pay for medical care. Because of decrease or lack of income, they accept lower standard of living. There are three medical conditions that are almost always associated with aging. Cerebral arteriosclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and senile and presenile dementia. Cerebral arteriosclerosis is a medical condition that causes the walls of the arteries to become thickened as a result of the fatty deposits. It often causes high blood pressure, and blockage or rupture of a blood vessel in the brain, a stroke. This condition often occurs in men more than women. It usually appears during the middle 60s in both sexes. The main symptoms of Parkinson's disease are manifested in motor area. There is uncontrollably tremor in the hands, feet, arms, and legs. The limbs are resistant to being moved or lifted. A mask-like facial expression is seen in this disease. Parkinson's disease is often seen in people over the average age of 55 years. Amazingly, the prognosis of the disease is better in blacks than whites, and people who develop the disease later in life have a better prognosis than younger victims. Senile and presenile dementia are symptomatically similar, but they differ mainly in the age of onset. Presenile dementia presents itself between the age of 45 and 60, while senile dementia occurs after age 60. As the person ages, the body functions succumb to the scourge of time. They become rigid in patterns of behavior and reluctant to try new ways of changes in society. Typically, senile dementia appear at age 75, occurring more often in women. The brain is often seen to be small and shrunken upon autopsy after death. There is also severe loss of brain tissue due to plaque, which are dark circular areas of tissue degeneration. Presenile dementia occurs at the average age of 55. The two most important types are Alzheimer's diseases and Pick's diseases. As with senile dementia, it is more frequent in women. The brain is more atrophy than persons with senile dementia. Number 2. Infections. Untreated infection of the central nervous system can inevitably lead to many psychological problems. These symptoms include agitation, depression, delusion, hallucinations, stupor and dementia. Brain abscess and general paralysis are the main infections of the central nervous system. Brain abscess usually develop from an ear or sinus infection. It may also be transferred from other parts of the body via the bloodstream. General paralysis usually occur after contracting syphilis and failing to obtain treatment. Not everyone who contracts syphilis shows signs of general paralysis. A number of other infections arise in other parts of the body and produce psychological symptoms. These includes pneumonia, malaria, rheumatic fever, and typhoid fever. Number 3. Intoxication. Every drug addict and alcoholic is a potential victim of organic brain disorders caused by intoxication. Two organic brain syndromes due to alcohol abuse are delirium tremens and Korsakoff psychosis. Delirium tremens appears after a chronic alcoholic stops drinking for a long period of time. The condition produces tremors, delirium, and visual hallucinations. The person may try to escape from the terrifying creatures of his hallucinations. The symptoms last for about three to six days. It rarely happens to persons under eclipse 30 years. This is because the condition manifests only after many years of prolonged alcohol abuse. It has a mortality rate of 10 to 15 percent, if untreated. Korsakoff's psychosis usually come about as a result of neglect of diet. However, it is always alcoholics who eat very little that suffer from this dietary disorder. Thus, it is a nutritional deficiency disease due to chronic alcoholic dependence. The most unique symptom is confabulation, or manufacture of memories to fill gaps in one's own memory. Other symptoms include loss of memory, inability to learn, impairment of intellect, loss of judgment, and general confusion. Number 4. Nutrition. Dietary deficiency, in particular, protein deficiency, can retard intellectual development. 
This is a worldwide problem. More than half the number children in South America, Asia, Africa and the Caribbean are underweight, a child's age influence protein deficiency on growth and development. In pregnant women, protein deficiency causes low average birth weight for the infants. Also, there are a higher rate of premature births, and serious childhood diseases. A mother's history of poor nutrition often reflects a lower intellectual potential at the birth of the child. Brain damage is likely to produce retardation in intellectual functioning. Six months after birth to the end of the second year is crucial. Number 5. Head Injury Organic brain disorders caused by head injury most commonly result from falls, automobile accidents, or blows to the head. Most head injuries cause acute rather than chronic brain syndromes. However, some brain injuries can lead to profound alterations in personality and physical functions. Major injuries usually result in three degrees of brain trauma. Laceration, concussion, and contusion. In laceration the brain tissue is literally torn or broken. The initial symptom is unconsciousness. The individual may remain in a coma for months or years. There may also be headaches, and motor and intellectual impairments. Concussion is the mildest form of brain injury. There is a normally a brief loss of consciousness. It is usually followed by loss of memory and slight headache for a few days. The condition is not fatal, and there are no residual effects. Contusion results when the head is hit with a force that causes the brain to smash against the inside of the skull. The person remains unconscious for hours or days. There are headaches, dizziness, weakness and loss of intellectual functionings. Number 6. Tumors. Brain tumors are abnormal growth within the brain. Tumors may be malignant or benign. Malignant tumors returns after they are removed, while benign tumors do not return. Considerable amounts of pressure can be placed on the brain by these tumors. The pressure on the brain caused by the growing tumor produce the physical and psychological symptoms the person experience. Symptoms depend on the size and location of the tumor. They can be vague and non-specific in the early stages. General symptoms include shortness of breath, difficulty concentrating, and anxiety. More specific symptoms are due to increased pressure on the brain. Headaches, vomiting, nausea, visual problems, confusion and irrationality, develop over time. Number 7. Epilepsy. Epilepsy is episodic disruption of normal electrical activity in the central nervous system. There are four types, grand mal, petty mal, psychomotor, and jacksonian. Grand mal epilepsy is the most common and most dramatic. Five stages occur in the usual grand mal seizure. The initial stage is the aura during the first few seconds. Symptoms include headaches, dizziness, nausea, hallucinations, and twitching. During the second, or tonic stage, the muscles tighten. The clonic stage follows with the arms and legs jerking up and down rapidly. The movement of the jaws and face muscles may cause damage to the tongue. He may lose bowels and bladder control. Finally, during the fourth stage, the clonic movements subside. The person falls into a coma lasting for a few minutes to several hours. When he awake he is often confused, tired, and bruised. These seizures can occur several times per day. Petty mal epilepsy involves brief losses of consciousness and no convulsions of the body. The person sometimes is not aware that the seizure happened. It only lasts a few seconds and does not interrupt activities. There is usually no aura. Some children experience over 100 seizure daily, which can cause problems in school. In adults and adolescents the condition can affect activities, such as driving a car or operating machinery. Persons with suffer from psychomotor epilepsy perform involuntary actions for which they are not aware. These individuals mumble, grind their teeth, take off their clothes, or wander around aimlessly during the seizure. Finally, in Jacksonian epilepsy, a localized convulsion starts in one part of the body and spread to surrounding areas. For example, a convulsion may start in the finger, then spread to the hand, then the arm, 